local teacher is suing Duval County Public Schools for retaliation and right to free speech. Amy Donofrio has been a teacher at Robert E. Lee High School and led a successful program for student achievement that received national coverage and recognition by the White House. Donofrio says the district's decision to remove her from the classroom is all to stop her from helping her students achieve, all for having a Black Lives Matter flag in her classroom. The best way we can teach kids um, anything is to teach them to do the right thing um, and stand up when something is wrong. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris spoke one on one with Donna Frio and her attorney Janice. In this 68 page complaint, her attorneys say that she had created an innovative program to help out students, but she was retaliated against when she spoke out against racial injustice. Teacher Amy Donofrio sits inside Bulls Bay Consolidated Warehouse away from her students at Lee High School after refusing to take a Black Lives Matter flag down from the doorway of her then classroom. While public schools opened a human resources investigation on Donofrio to review allegations of potential misconduct under school board policy. Now she can no longer teach. It's painful at the end of the school year to teach all seniors and this is very hard. I mean, this whole thing is a painful experience. Um, I miss my students so bad. Dono Friel's attorneys say this is one of 24 acts of retaliation or discrimination against her for helping and speaking up for African-American students. We brought this claim because when teachers do their job and do it well and protect students and speak out for what's right, they should not be retaliated against. This federal complaint states there have been eight counts of state or federal rights violated by DCPS and Scott Schneider, including retaliation, First Amendment, protection of school speech, and injunction violations. In 2015, Don Ofrio co-founded EVAC, a program to empower students at Lee High School that got the attention of national media and the White House. The 68-page lawsuit claims the EVAC program grew. It was eliminated by the 20 2018-2019 school year, an all-male leadership course was added to the school schedule. No explanation was given. As they got better, the retaliation got harsher. So when they came back from seeing President Obama, when they got all these wonderful awards and these opportunities to be at Harvard, suddenly now their messaging was problematic. I reached out to DCPS about the lawsuit and their actions. They said, thanks for reaching out, but we're unable to comment on pending litigation. The investigation is active and ongoing. For the 13-year veteran teacher, she waits for her day in court and says being separated from her students is painful, but she is fighting for equality and justice. And Onofrio's legal team says that they would like for a jury to hear this case. It could take up to a year to see what the final result will be. In the meantime, there's still that internal investigation through the school district. We do not know how long that will take. The school district has not given us a timeline, but we're waiting for an update on that as well. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.